I'm Vanessa Ruck, I'm here in the XL Moto garage and I am holding a bucket and a sponge, but this isn't gonna be your normal how to wash a motorcycle video. I'm here to look at some of the products and more intricate parts of cleaning your motorbike. Motorcycles have a lot of moving parts and elements that are really important to maintain and keep ready for action when you're out on the road. So the cleaning process of looking after your motorcycle is a really important step as a motorcycle rider. Today, we're gonna to look at some of the key products and tools that you're gonna to need to look after your motorcycle correctly. To show you how to clean a bike probably helps if we have a bike. So let's relocate and get a bike. Got myself a bike. The first part of getting your dirty motorcycle clean is going to be getting yourself outside, getting yourself some water, either a good bucket, a nice hose pipe is always appreciated. And then we can start washing the bike. So some of the tools I'm going to be using here, I've got a sponge. This has got a slightly more abrasive side on one side and a little bit softer on the other. I've also got myself a microfiber cloth and then I have the magic product. So this is the Motel Moto Wash. This is a biodegradable product, which is a really beneficial point for the environment that you are doing your washing in. It's not gonna cause any harm. It's also not gonna cause any harm to the different parts of the motorcycle. So you can put it on the whole bike, whether it's the, the plastics, the metal, the engine, the tires, everything, and it's gonna help get that sparkling and clean. Now, always have a check on the label of the products that you're using. So I've had a read already and I know that I need to get the bike wet first. So I've got my hose pipe. We're gonna give it a bit of a spray down. This is a, a rinse just to make sure that the product's going onto some wet surface. Get right up in there. Perfect. Now it's time to apply my Moltol product. So this has come in a spray. Make sure it's turned on. And we're gonna cover the bike in this. Now the beauty of cleaning products like this is that you spray them on, you let it sit for a few minutes and whilst it is sat on the bike, it is working away to release the dirt, the grime, the road dust, and make that cleaning job a little bit less of an elbow grease effort. At this point, it could be a good opportunity to get yourself a warm bucket of water, partly because it is much nicer on your fingers, but also because the warmth does help break the grease down. The product has been sat on the bike for a couple of minutes now, so it's time to get my sponge out. I'm just gonna use a little bit of hose pipe water to get my sponge wet. So, got my sponge, and then it's a case of methodically working your way around the bike to get into all of the different panels and crevices and wipe that dirt away. We can see that the water is reacting nicely with the motor cleaner. Do you wanna be careful when you are doing the exhaust pipe? So obviously there is packing inside that exhaust that doesn't want water in it. So be very careful not to get water in there. You can actually get little plugs available on the website that will prevent you accidentally getting water in there. One thing to bear in mind when you are washing your motorcycle is the temperature and the heat. It obviously looks like an incredibly sunny day where I am right now, but it is actually very cold, so it's not a problem, but you don't want to be washing your bike in really intense heat, partly because the cleaner and the water will dry quicker than you can work. Um, and it's just not the optimum way to clean. You obviously want to work methodically through the whole bike getting into all the different parts. Now, wheels can be a little bit more difficult. So one tip to do there is to actually just roll the bike forward simply and that will give you the 
access to a next section of wheel and you can then get round all of the rims, all of the brake discs and get it all clean. <laughs> The bike is all scrubbed down, so it's time to rinse that soap off. I've got the hose pipe. Obviously, if you don't have access to a hose pipe, you can use buckets of water. Working at the car wash. <laughs> we have a clean ish bike so that is the first part of clearing a bike there are a few other products and techniques that i think are really important to make sure that you're fully maintaining and looking after your motorcycle so i'm going to get the bike dried down a little bit with a microfiber cloth here we go and then it will be a case of getting it back into the garage where it's a bit warmer and we'll go through some of the next steps of cleaning your motorcycle I've done a magic product change and I've now got some A9 racing oils to do the next part of the clean. First of all though, the most important bit for my safety is getting some gloves on. So I've got some ProWorks disposable nitrate gloves. I'm going to pop those on to ensure that my skin isn't going to get harmed by some of the cleaning products that we're going to use. Now I realise there's a lot of people out there that maybe don't think gloves are an important element of washing a motorcycle but sadly as you grow older you'll realize that exposure to these chemicals even on a small level can deteriorate your skin over the years so i really do recommend you put the gloves on we're going to be working on the brakes first off so i have an a9 racing oil brake cleaner now this is quite a powerful cleaning product hence the gloves, but it's absolutely brilliant at breaking down the grease and grime that you're gonna have on your brake discs and your brake pads. The important thing to note about this product is it's not going to do damage to your plastic, your bodywork, paint, etc. But you do wanna be careful with your skin, your eyes, all that kind of stuff. So I've also got some microfiber cloths, so I'm gonna get one of those out as well. And that's really to catch any drips. Okay going to spray this on the discs, get it right down into the brake pads as well. It is a good idea to roll the wheel as you're doing this, but it's not necessarily essential to show you now. It's obviously important to make sure you get all the way around your brake discs and get it down into your brake pads as much as possible. If you want to take your brake pads out, even better. And you're also going to do the rear wheel, but you get the idea. Now, if you have been doing anything to your brakes, for example, bleeding them, changing your brake fluid, etc., it's possible that you might have spilt some brake fluid onto the motorcycle. Now, brake cleaner can be highly corrosive, so it's a very good idea to get some of your brake cleaner and spray anywhere where that brake fluid might have gone. So let's say I changed my brake fluid, I'd have the cap off up here on the handlebars, and when you're putting this back on with the little seal and gasket, it's quite easy to spill a little bit of fluid over the edge. Now, in that case, I would come around here with my cleaner and I'd give it a really good spray down. Any of that brake fluid getting into this cable into the work, dripping down is going to cause some damage and this will clean it all up. You can of course do this to both sets of brakes and it's a great way to refresh the power and energy that you're gonna have in your brakes and do it in a timely routine, set it into your maintenance cycle with your bike. So that is the A9 brake cleaner. Let's move on to the engine parts cleaner. Again, this is quite a toxic cleaner in terms of your skin, so make sure you're wearing the right protection. A lot of these products will always come with instructions on the bottle, so if you're ever unsure on how to use them, do read up on what it says. So this says spray on engine parts, let it work for 30 seconds, and then wipe off the dirt. So let's give it a go. And let that sit for 30 seconds. It's always recommended to use these products in a well-ventilated environment as well. 
Okay, let's give that a wipe. That's cleaning up really nicely. Nice and shiny. You're obviously going to want to replicate that process across all of the engine components and you can see straight away how nicely that brings up the shine of the engine. Another component of the motorcycle that really is worth looking after is your chain. So this is really your primary drive from taking the engine output into power at the rear wheel. And if your chain isn't well maintained, not only are you going to risk having maybe not the right performance from your motorcycle, but also increased costs of parts because a well-maintained chain will also ensure your sprockets last longer and keep your maintenance costs down. So we have the A9 chain cleaner. I also have a pretty funky looking brush, which is designed just for chains. The style of this brush means that with one stroke, I can clean three sides of the chain in one. So let's quickly show you a simplified version of how you can clean your chain. There is going to be a longer video as well if you wanna go into this in more depth. It's recommended doing this with something underneath the bike to catch the dirt and grime, but effectively you're gonna spray the chain cleaner all over your chain, let it sit, give it a bit of a scrub with the brush, give it a good wipe with your cloth, let it dry, and then you'd apply your lube. You're gonna want the bike in neutral so that you can spin that chain around. And then with the other hand, you can spray the chain. It does create a little bit of mess and the dirtier your chain, the dirtier that mess is gonna be. So I'm now going to swap tools and I've got my three-way brush. Once you're confident you've done a couple of laps of the chain, it's worth readjusting the tool so that you do a slightly different side and going round again. And it's also worth running it through the chain in both directions. So we're gonna go back the other way. At this point, you should really be able to see the dirt starting to lift off your chain. It's a good idea to pop some of the cleaner on your sprockets as well, because all of the grime sits in all of those areas. You're then going to get your cloth, give it a really good wipe down, and then you'll be ready to lube. Now, the more frequently you clean your chain, the quicker and the easier it is going to be to clean. The less frequently you clean it, the more hard work you can have at this point. Now, I wish I could tell you cleaning your motorcycle would be that quick. I've obviously shown you little snippets into that cleaning process. You obviously got to repeat it across the whole bike, but by the end of it, hopefully your bike will be sparkling, well-maintained and ready for soon time on the road. I've used A9 cleaning products with ProWorks materials and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'm Vanessa Ruck here in the XL Moto garage. All of these products are of course available on the XL Moto website. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.